Holly Pond, Alabama. It's the kind of place where the horse feed store sits on the main drag. It's the kind of place where the mayor's dad can drop in at his son's grocery store in the mornings and squeeze in a quick shave with his visit. It's a down-home kind of place, and it's the hometown of our new governor, Guy Hunt. Will life around here ever be the same? The mayor has his souvenir t-shirts ready. Of course, we already on the map is a little bitty dot, but we hope to make that dot into a little star now. Well, what's it been like around this area since he got elected governor? Oh, uh, been very popular around here. Very popular. I've seen people I never heard of before. Even Guy Hunt's house in Holly Pond will never be the same. The security guards have moved a trailer in the front yard. It all seems like an unlikely setting and an unlikely hometown for a governor. Let me tell you about my grandchildren. But then again, a lot of things about the governor's election seemed unlikely. The result of that election is miles away in Montgomery, where Holly Pond's native son is getting ready to be Alabama's first Republican governor in 112 years. Getting ready for your big day, for the state's big day. Oh, that sounds, that sounds good. He was a candidate with the unlikely qualifications. Amway salesman, farmer, primitive Baptist preacher. Qualifications he's proud of and hopes inspires others. I think the message to Alabama's young people is that uh, you can really become something. You can come off the farm. Uh, you know, you, it, it's, it's a vision. And I think uh, a lot of young people say, well, hey, here, here, here he came. He was not supposed to do it. Now when someone comes to me and says, you can't do it, maybe I should be like Guy Hunt. But to learn more about our new governor, let's go back to Holly Pond. Looking at the big picture, Holly Pond is about as far away from Mobile as you can get, lodged in between Huntsville and Birmingham. Naturally, Holly Pond is not a very big place. It has a population of about 500. They got the name from the folks who settled here a long time ago. There used to be a pond with holly bushes around it. It's since dried up. What do people do for a living here? They used to farm, and that's dried up, too. Now most folks work at the Lee Jeans plant in town, or they commute to Huntsville or Birmingham. Guy Hunt was born and raised in Holly Pond, the youngest of seven kids. In school, he was such a smart kid, he skipped a grade. Bertus Snunley remembers little Guy. Yeah, when he was small, he was mean as a dick. He'd get his brothers into trouble. Well, I don't care. He's always getting his brothers into trouble. Yeah. If they didn't do what he wanted, he'd cry. And then his, then his daddy would whip them because he cried. Pretty smart, huh? He was smart. He's always been smart. Little Guy grew up, married Helen Chambers when he was 17, had four kids, went in the Army, farmed, ran for state senator, ran for governor for the first time in 1978, was elected probate judge and sold Amway products to supplement that income. In 1981, he and Helen moved to Montgomery when he became the director of the state's agriculture service, a job he says he gave up to run for governor a second time. That second time was a charm. Now Guy and Helen are bound for life in the governor's mansion. Guy told me a few minutes ago the main thing he wanted me to do is not forget how to make biscuit. <laughs> Mrs. Hunt still plans to sell Amway, and the governor still plans to do a little preaching at the Mount Vernon Primitive Baptist Church. Watch a VCR. As he gives his grandkids a quick hug, he says he's determined not to let his personal life change too much while he's governor. One thing has changed for sure. He's left the country roads of Holly Pond for the road to the capital. Now we've got four years to see if he changes Alabama. Michelle Meredith, News 10.